Welcome everyone, in this video we are going to be exploring RAM and ROM. ROM or the read only memory is also known as firmware and it contains specific data since it was manufactured. It is a non-volatile and is either unchangeable or requires a highly specialized software to do so, unlike RAM and the types are PROM, EPROM and double EPROM. So first let us see the PROM or the programmable read only memory. They can be bought inexpensively and coded with the help of tools called programmers. They contain a cross section of wires like that of ROM but with fuse in between them. While reprogramming, first all of the fuses are broken down and hence the, all the bits are made one and then by passing specific electricity for a period of time, some fuses are rebuilt and hence made zero. And that is how PROM programming works. Next comes the EPROM or erasable programmable read only memory and they can be rewritten many times but using a special software which emits UV light. Finally we have the double EPROM or electronically erasable read only memory and these chips do not have to be removed to be in order to be rewritten and the entire chip does not need to be completely erased to change a specific portion of it. Moreover, changing the content does not require additional software for it and it is also known as flash memory. Now let us come over to RAM or random access memory. It can be of three types, SIM, DIM and NVRAM and it also can be static RAM or dynamic RAM where dynamic RAM is mostly in our computers and it gets refreshed a thousand times per second and that is why it is slower with static RAM. No need to go refreshing but it is expensive and that's why we do not have usually have it in our computer. But let us look at the other criteria of SIM, DIM and NVRAM. So first we have the single inline memory module RAM and in it the memory modules are combined in a single chip. We also have dual inline memory module RAM and that can work on double the bandwidth of SIM and is replacing SIM cell until P5 based Pentium processor came into being. We also have NVRAM or non-volatile RAM and it retains its memory even when power is switched off and its most popular form is flash memory. It is also used in EEPROM and also in RTC NVRAM which is real-time clock or ferroelectric RAM and also in magnetoresistive RAM.